Today we're playing one of the top meta decks in all of Standard, but the list we're playing today takes a much different approach. And honestly, it might be better. That's right, guys. Today we're playing some Orzhov Life Gain. Um, and before you click off the video, I know this is a top meta deck that's been around for a while. A thousand people have made videos on Orzhov Life Gain. Today's a little bit different. Now, there might be another creator out there who's already posted a list similar to this one. I'm not sure. The reason I'm even playing this today is because I ran into an opponent on the ladder running a version of this deck, and I thought it was really cool. Basically, the biggest difference in this deck making it special is Delny. Delny's a card I've played in another deck that was Boros, I believe. Very cool card. It doubles up on all your triggers for creatures with powers two or less. Uh, this is insane in life gain. And let me tell you why. Because we've got things like Lunark Veteran and also we've got the Core. Now, both of these cards are going to be gaining us one life a pop, which is going to, of course, trigger things like the Amalia and the Voice of the Blessed. But what happens when you're triggering them both? twice you're gonna get that life gain twice as fast your creatures are gonna grow twice as fast and then we've got really fun things we can throw in the mix too like uh inspiring overseer which is a two powered creature that draws us a card and gains us the life if this triggers twice you've got yourself a cascading effect of life gain that's just going to keep pumping up the amalia and voice which is really really sweet something i noticed that was really cool is the deep cavern bad i mean you get to take two cards out of their hand instead of one that is crippling, especially because Deep Cavern Bat will typically take like a removal spell out of their hand and then there's still one left over that'll kill the bat and get their removal spell back. Not anymore. You're getting two cards for the price of one when you've got Delny on the field. So very cool. I think this card really takes this deck honestly up quite a tier um, in my opinion. It, it just when you have it down, you notice a huge difference in the way and the speed of this deck and how fast it goes. But anyways, but with all that being said, guys, let's just jump right into the games and check it out. Peace. All right, guys, today we're checking out some Delny Double Life Gain, man. This is a, a pretty sweet list. I'm not going to lie. We played a couple of games so far, and it, uh, it's it's been doing pretty well. Opening hand here looks really good. I think what I'm going to do here is prioritize these as our one and two drops here. So we'll drop down the Feast. Got the Fortress on two to slow us down a little bit, but it's okay. Like I said, it's mostly... Well, that changes things, doesn't it? Um... Does it, or should I go with the veteran still? I think I should probably still go with the veteran. Guess we could have gone Voice of the Blessed there, but I, I'd rather, you know, not see a red land come down and just get burned. There's a couple of things that were kind of going through my head there, but I think we're okay. Looks like mono white humans. Looking for the Delny. If I can find it, I mean, we're going to be absolutely cooking, but we, we do hope to find it soon. But now I've got a really big voice of the blessed out there doing its thing, doing some blocking for us against the Thalia and the recruiter. That's fine. That's fine. Um, that is kind of their biggest way to beat us, though, it feels like, is if they go wide enough. So we hope we can stop them from going too wide. If I find a Delany and I can take two cards out of their hand with the, the Cavern Bat, that'd be pretty sweet. All right, let's go voice the blessed into the bat. <laughs> Seems good to me. And they are running red, by the way. So this is some sort of Boros Convoke deck. It looked like mono white humans at first, but we see the recruiter. So we know exactly what's going on here. We'll take this. And we'll start the beatdown. Let the beatdown begin, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't even need Delny for this one. This is just a straight up life gain clinic against a deck that's looking to put pressure on and put out damage quickly so pretty good game for us here uh the officer's ability costs four so they don't have anything there that's ggs let's go easy w good start didn't even need to get all of our doubling going on we just uh did our thing okay we get to go first with a very interesting opening hand here we don't have the double white but um we do have delany so i'm gonna go ahead and keep it and see what we can do here Maybe we can show off Delny a little bit here in this game. Okay, another life gain deck. Let's see who wins. Is it going to be the traditional life gain or is it going to be the new age life gain? Let's see. 
<clears throat> I like this stuff. I like this matchup. I think we do things a little bit better, to be honest. Okay, they drop another feast. Let's get Delmi in here and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't die. I mean, there's only really a, a handful of spells I can think of that would, you know, kill it in a life gain deck. Uh, mostly it's going to be, you know, the gun drop poisoner is like their main removal spell. So that's fine. That's really good. That is really good. Here we go. Let the games begin, ladies and gentlemen. Let the games begin. You're not going to be able to keep up with ours. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> And you can't block our little guys. You better stop the core while you have a chance. I've got an Overseer. Now, this is going to be the first time I've played an Overseer um, against our opponent here. Are they going to exile both of our... They're not. They're going to go for a flying creature. Very interesting. I mean, that is kind of tricky because um, it can do some blocking for them. I don't love that. But let's go ahead and hit our Overseer. This is our first time playing this with the Delny on the field. Kind of exciting. I mean, that's just silly, right? Holy cow. Um, I think I'm going to actually play this. Nice. We got a bat, which is ridiculously good. Um, actually. Let's do this. I want to make sure we absolutely kill that Kaya. Cannot have that Kaya keep spitting out 1-1 tokens for them. Excuse me. My allergies are horrendous today. I take an allergy pill every day, but it can only do so much. Yeah, I think we have a pretty good mirror matchup. I'm not going to lie. They they see it as well. They're just, you know, they've had enough and I don't blame them. I mean, how are you going to keep up with that kind of pressure? You know, with the bat in hand too, we get two cards out of your hand to wrap. Okay, we get to go first here with a really good starting hand. Uh, this opponent being top 800 tells me it's going to be a meta deck, I'm sure. Probably Boros looking at the sleeves. So we're going to be in for a decent game here, I think. But I think we have the better matchup. Really control, I feel like, is the only thing I don't want to see. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is going to be Boros. I think we're going to be okay. We got Delny in the hand and ways to gain life. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm pretty good. Now, I don't love that I've got pain lands here early. Uh, that's not going to help our case. But we have everything we could ask for here. So Warden of the Inner Sky. Looking to tap all their things to scry here. That's fine. Oh, my dog is going underneath my feet right now. Get there, bud. Oh, okay. Laying on my headphones. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's on my headphones. That's not good. Uh, all right. Delny, come on down. Got the life gain going. We're back to 20 after all the damage we've taken from our own lands here. Voice of the Blessed is next. Hopefully Delny doesn't get picked off here by a Helix. I mean, there isn't a lot for Boros as far as removal goes. They do have the, the case. They run the case to deal damage. So that's a possibility here. It is. Yep. What are they going to take out? Delny? Shoot. That's one case down, though. Okay. Here's what I think we're going to do. I think what we're going to do is try to take out that inner sky. Two. No, we can't. Okay, buddy. You're on my toe and it hurts really bad. My dog is underneath my feet right now. And then she is, or he is, uh, laying on my headphones and kind of stepping on my feet. Okay. Voice goes up to a four, four. I mean, do we keep putting the pressure? I think so. I think so. 
Okay, so next turn, two mana, eat this. That's three, four, five. So I can kill this if it gets up to a five, five, or five toughness. Sure. Yeah, I like our chances here. We, we finally caught up. I think we're about to start stabilizing here. All right, so we eat this for two. We gain to three. Voice of the Blessed grows. We play this. Voice of the Blessed grows two more times. We take out this. And now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with gasoline, baby. Let's go. Even with a little bit of a, a setback there, them blowing up the Delny. You're not going to be able to take out the Voice of the Blessed now, so it's game over. Shouldn't have tapped that bat last turn, huh? Leaving the bat behind this time to block. Makes sense. Um, Delny in the yard. I can replay it with this, right? Sacrifice this case. Creature cards in the graveyard. That is a possibility. I say we do it. I say we do it. Let's go. And we've got the Seed of the Empire to blow up the 4-4, so we might as well send everything here. Yep, the bat blocks there, that blocks there, exactly what I thought would happen. This dies. We'll be seeing ya. Okay. Last chance here, you better get a flyer out there with your bats. Uh, you got the... You got the evangelist in hand. They've got a they've got a blocker. Buys them a little bit more time. But it is just a matter of time, let's be real. I would really like to find like a deep cavern bat with the Del uh, Delny on the field because being able to steal two of their cards would be really helpful. Okay, let's get this overseer down. And let's get this down. I love it. Absolutely love it. That's so good, man. That's so good, man. Oh my god. It's so broken. Delny is insane. That card is nutty, dude. Okay, we've got all of our life gain pieces here. Um, yeah, I think we can keep it. I think we can keep it. If we hit a Voice of the Blessed or... You know, something that can kind of start growing. That would be helpful. All right, we see Grixis colors. Wait, with white, though. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non land card from it. Exile that card. If it's a card, and a value is one or less. Create a... Okay. Exile it. That's actually so good against the veteran. Yeah, that's actually really good. That's a bit of a a meta play, it seems like. All right, cool, cool. I hate that we drew into a land there. That was a bit of a bummer. Don't love that. Okay, let's drop this. We are drawing terribly right now, guys. This is a, a very, very bad game, uh, you know, starting out. Okay. No more lies. Okay, so we've seen no more lies and some hand hate. That's not great. This is definitely going to be a full control deck, which is exactly what I wanted to avoid, if possible. And uh, the other problem is everything's going to exile, which is making things tough. Okay, so we got a little bit of an issue here. The problem is that they run no more lies, which we need three mana to hold open in order to avoid that counterspell, which isn't possible. 
So I say we still throw it out there and try. I mean, if we get a no more lies out of their hand, at least the bat sort of kind of did its job anyways. Okay. And are we seeing a kill spell on the bat? I mean, that's cool if they do kill it. That's fine. Leyline binding. Sure. Oh, interesting. Not on the bat, though. I see why. Okay. <laughs> that's a lot of removal, man. That is a lot of removal. Holy cow. Yeah, it, it's a combination between a bad matchup and us not being able to do anything <laughs> with our current hand and situation. We just keep drawing lands. Such a bummer. And again, how about another land just for good measure? You know? Just for good measure. Let's go ahead and pass the turn. We'll, we'll say this was a, a giveaway. I mean, this is just the algorithm eating me up here. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is tough. This is tough to sit back and just watch. Sure. And now their dragon's going to come down starting next turn. And that's going to get them even more cards. I mean, do we have any other reason to hold on to this? I don't think so. This has hexproof, so. Good old hexproof. That's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a card. It's going to get taken by a Leyline Binding, but sure. <laughs> I think we just concede here, guys, to be honest. I think we're going to concede here. Does this give them any card or just a dragon card? Whenever a dragon can, deals combat damage to a player, battle, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them in your hand. So any card. Not a dragon. Any card. Okay. Oh wow, they uh they leave it on the field. Okay. Oh my goodness, they draw a stellar card. I got to take the one thing that can kill the bat or take the bat off the field, right? All right. Ill timed explosion. Wow. All right, let's see if they find a one mana spell or something cheap enough that can kill my bat and avoid killing their own dragon here. They do. That'll do it, man. I think we're going to go ahead and say concede here. This is about as bad as it could have gotten here for us. I mean, draws were terrible. Matchup was bad. It happens. Okay, I get to go first with a really sweet list or a sweet hand here. Um, yeah, the curve is nice. Got the bats, got Delny. This is gonna be sick. Uh, we see a red land come down. Are we mono red or are we boros? It's gonna be one of the two, right? Good chance the bat, you know, takes something here, but then immediately dies to a, a secondary kill spell. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. The voice of the blessed off the top is nutty. Play with fire. Okay, so that's probably the only play with fire they have because why else would they throw it to my face and not just save it for the bat? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so... Frenzies... Need to start coming out of their hands here. Good thing we went first. This could get tricky, but... With us going first, I think we're gonna be okay. Because we played this... Each is this? Oh wow, they had another play with fire off the top. That's so good. Uh, for each creature they attack with, or interesting. Okay, yeah, I got to get that out of their hand for sure. For sure. The Delny getting taken out though, super sad. Super sad. All right, get in for the one. Voice of the Blessed grows to three. I don't have a great block against Godric, unfortunately, but they have another worthless Godric in hand because 
It is legendary after all. If they find a singular burn spell here, it's going to be a nightmare because they blow up one of the bats and then they get another burn spell back. Down to 12. All right. Um, let's start out with an attack. Leave back some blocks here with the voice of the bless. Uh, let's eat the food. Let's play this. Take out you. And GG's. Let's go. I mean, good game. I, I, I don't really love how Delny got taken out so early. I wish we could have had some more fun with it, but, you know, we'll take it. We'll take it. All right. We haven't seen an Amelia this entire time, and we get three in the opening hand. That's crazy. Uh, I think we mulligan this, right? This is better. You know what? I'm actually going to drop a land here. We got a bit flooded last time. Yeah, that was tricky. That was kind of tricky. I think the land though has to go. Made the right call there. Are we Boros or Mono Red? It's only one of the two these days. All right, we lose a bit of life here, but we gain two immediately right back. Got the Kayla's Command in hand, which is really interesting. It's a one of in the deck, so let's see what we can pull off with that. Giving double strike can be huge on a lifelink body. No plays from the opponent yet is really sketchy. Let's take a look at their hand because I think it's really important we figure out what's going on here. Okay, I guess they didn't like that. <laughs> they must have had something on turn four that was crucial. Maybe like a cough or something. I don't know. Feel bad. All right, we do love a quick win. That was nice. Opening hand here looks really good. Thought I wasn't recording for a second. Okay, get the feast down. All right, feast number two and a veteran. Extra land there is definitely not ideal, but at least it's something I can go maybe fish out a uh, creature with later. Cut down, brutal. All right, the opponent racked those colors. We see a cut down. It's pretty good information to have. Another field of ruin. They might be struggling to hit their, their colors, which is good. Another land, man. That's so brutal. Can't catch a break right now. Um, Man. Liliana can come down next turn and minus, or they can just Infernal Grasp me either way. Not fun. Uh, Omnix list seems not fun either because it's just going to sack the heavy and they're going to be able to almost alt it immediately. Sure thing. Is it Obnixil this time, or are we just going for the grass? They're going for the grass. All right, we slow him down a little bit there with the bat, but pretty brutal. Dude, what is going on? Where, where are my cards aside from lands? Oh, brother. Can't be giving him any extra cards, unfortunately. I'm gonna take the six here. Alright, here comes the well, plus one. You're telling me what you know. Drop it. Alright, let's go get some good stuff here, hopefully. Alright, we need They have the minus ready to go. It really doesn't matter, huh? Uh I guess we take this. It's probably the best bet for us.
All right, that actually takes away their ability to play the Obnixilis now that I think about it. We can minus this now before their turn is even um, ready to go. And now they don't really have anything for that Obnixilis. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. The Wandering Emperor coming in very clutch there. There's the ob. If you don't stand with me, you're my enemy. Let's see what the plan is here. Is the plan to create a you know a one one here? It is. Wow. Interesting oh, choice. <clears throat> Are they willing to sack? <laughs> yeah, they're not. They're not willing to discard the card in hand. All right. Very nice. He'd love to see it. All right. And then the minus on a Liliana is definitely still something that we need to concern ourselves with, I think. Uh, maybe we need to prepare for that by creating a tutu. And now I definitely think I do need to create a tutu because that answers that. Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe it is a plus. Maybe it is a plus because this can't kill it and then the Liliana doesn't have a good minus and we saw how they were scared to plus last turn. I like it. I like it. I like it. Defy me and you lose everything. There's the plus. Don't Field of Ruin can blow up my land. That's a creature land though, which is a bummer. Can't activate it, unfortunately. So we resolve. Running Mardu colors, it's kind of strange to see them running um, so many Field of Ruins. I don't know if that's going to end up biting them in the butt or not, but we'll see. They've got, I mean, they wouldn't be running this many if they didn't have that many basics, right? So, man, Field of Ruins kind of kind of cooking us here because we needed those lands in order to uh, attack in this next turn on the Liliana. Brutal. All right, we're not in terrible shape though. We're really not. If we can find a, a t good top deck here, watch out! I not bad. Give up. Not bad. Nice. That's actually so good. The more cards in hand, honestly, pretty, pretty solid. I'll take it. Uh, let's go with you on the field. Now, if we minus, that's going to give them a really bad minus with the Liliana, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. Now we minus. That way, their, their Liliana minus is no good here. Amelia gets even bigger. Oh, this is going well. Talk about a comeback. Let's go. Let's go. We're back to 20 right now. Oh, and we get to hit the graveyard now, too. We love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, yeah. They drew a land. That's GG's. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. <laughs> That's pretty desperate. I will say that is pretty desperate. Discarding, really? All right. All right. What's in the graveyard? We got a core, an Amelia, and a cavern bat. So I am going to activate one of these. Go with the core. Uh, that can go to the graveyard and I can replay it. Um, this. Another land, another land. Okay, we've got enough lands. <laughs> All right, let's play the let's play the bat and see what's on top. I want to make sure I know what's on top before I waste uh, my overseer on more lands. Jeez, man. Okay, we're good on lands. We're good on the lands. There we go. That's a good card. Gain some life. All right, now we cook. Now we cook. They've got the minus six though ready to go, which is so bad for us. 
so bad for us but i mean they are going to be out of juice though so if they go minus six here they lose liliana and then uh we got some tough decisions we got to make but um i still think we can win this because of how many lands we have in our hand here we can kind of rebuild pretty easily in that department all right sure I didn't consider the Liliana alt until just a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago, so it's like, this could change some things here pretty drastically. We'll see. Got plenty of lands, though. This is going to be a really tough minus six for uh, our opponent here. They're, they don't exactly have an easy route here, because if they leave us any cases, we can always replay creatures from the graveyard. Select a pile to sacrifice. Pile two only has, what? I mean, it literally doesn't get any easier than that. Okay. I don't know. That was a really easy choice. They get, they let me off the hook pretty easily there. I feel like, okay, sure. And now every time one of those dies, they're going to take a point of damage. Right? Or this only triggers once or... Oh, whenever I control. Okay, never mind. Misunderstood my own card there. Okay, here we go. Let's draw a card. Ah, let's get the Amelia first. Okay. A bat is good, but we don't need it. Draw a card. Yikes. There we go. Another bat. Good, but we don't need it this late in the game. Delny. Very sick. Two life. Boom. And boom. Take that on top, I guess. All right. I mean, it, it's pretty smooth sailing from here. I think we've got the, the win. Yeah, they give us the good game. They must have drawn into a land. Good game. That does it. That does it. Wow. That, that looked really bad in the beginning, too. Like, we were in a big, big bind. Let me tell you where exactly we turned it around to. The crazy part is we turned it around because we've run a singular copy, a singular copy of the Wandering Emperor. And finding that when we did with the uh, Abandoned Mire, so clutch. Not, allow not allowing them to double the Obnixilis was huge, huge. All right, looks like we got time for another game here. Uh, we've got the Deep Cavern Bat into, I mean, this is not terrible. I mean, I know three Amelias is wildly not great, but uh, I'd rather have three Amelias than no Amelias, you know what I mean? Delny's in the hand too, which is helpful. All right, let's go take a look at their hand, especially with the Virtuoso on the field. Angel Fire Ignition. Uh, yeah, I think we take the Angel Fire. I don't know. That's a really sick uh, little tempo deck I'm looking at here, though. I like what they're doing. I like what they're doing quite a bit. All right, Amelia, go find me some lands. I need them. Need them ASAP. Another voice of the blessed is cool, but I don't need it. I don't need it. I need a land. Uh, double strike. Ah, uh, what did they draw? What did they draw? I'm going to risk it for the biscuit here. If I can kill this thing, I'll take it. Okay, cool. So they're just going to go for the sacrifice. Okay. That's fine. Amelia number two. And we do, in fact, hit another land. Another bat is good, too. 
All right. Take the other Angel Fire Ignition. That'd be nice. Hopefully they didn't find their third land drop yet. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We're kind of getting away with one here with the fact that the opponent uh, hasn't drawn a third land drop yet. And we take it out. Wow. That was like their big win con too. Interesting. Let's go with this. And this. Monstrous Rage. Oh, because they didn't have red. Wow. Uh, I guess we take the Lightning Helix because they're just going to kill my bat eventually if they get the red source. Yeah, they kept a pretty bad hand here. I get it, though. I mean, you get the Virtuoso in the opening hand. You got to keep it, right? Especially when that's your main game plan. That's a really cool deck, though. Virtuoso is a very scary card. A card that I should probably revisit soon as well, but... All right, that was super quick. We're going to try to squeeze one more game in here. Maybe we'll get the 99%. Who knows? Uh, I don't think we can keep this. It's way too many three drops with only two lands. This I can keep. All right, we're going to drop the one land here. I got a lot of one and two drops here to make this happen. Inner Sky. So we know what we're up against. We like the matchup. <clears throat> Let's hope we... Uh, Get the ball rolling here. Oh, we don't know what it is. What in the world? Flying lifelink at the beginning of your end step if you descend to this turn. Scry one. Alright, they're looking to <clears throat> they're looking to descend, which is very strange. Naya colors. It went right to the attack step. Like, they definitely don't have another spell in hand here. So the Warden stays back, obviously, because there's no pump spells. We know that. All right. I like the Lunark here. That's really clutch because we're dropping the Amelia on them as well. Taking a lot of damage from my own lands here, but we absorb all of it right back with all the life gain. A bat is honestly pretty cool. I need to see what's going on. Yeah, we can send it. Kill spell? Ah, Seed of the Empire. Fair enough. We've already got this maxed out too, which is great. So we can get the core back if we need to. Very good card. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. That's a very good card. Everything's got Vigilance now too. All right, let's do a little trickery here. We're going to play the Deep Cavern Bat, <clears throat> and then we're going to go Seed of the Empire. Hopefully taking out the uh, Jet Mirror here. That's the goal, at least. All right, let's try to take out the Jet Mirror. Dang it. They're too smart for that. They're too smart for that. All right, we're definitely winning the race, though. I like our uh, like our setup here. Oh, that's a pretty good card. And they get the drop down in the Valdarian. Brutal. They're definitely not super wide, though, which is good because the Jet Mirror obviously goes a pretty ham when it's uh, when the board state goes crazy wide. So my goodness, it's not too wild. <clears throat> I think we can absorb that for the most part. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go grab the core. Because it's got the death touch, right? And I think that's better than having a case out there. That's just going to be whatever. A uh, veteran is not terrible. Yeah, I like the veteran actually with the, the curve we have next turn because we drop the veteran into a inspiring overseer. Massive. All right, no attacks this time. We're going to lead back some defenses here. We're losing the battle of uh, power. So going to lead back everything to defend here against the uh, current board. Now they do have a 3-2 flyer though that I can't really do a whole lot about. 
but I can next turn, so I can block with the Overseer starting next turn. All right, they scry to the top. Ooh, not good, not good. Delny is bananas. All right, now we got a great blocker against the bat. And uh, we have the 6-6 six, six voice of the blast flying too, so very nice. Oh shoot, I I got so in the mode of clicking okay that I forgot that I actually needed to shoot. Should have sent that Delmi away. I don't know what I was thinking there. I have to put it down to 11. We're evened out now. A Nim. That's really bad. Are they gonna get the double strike? No, there's definitely not enough attackers coming in this turn to get the double strike. They might get the trample though. Not that I really care. I've got plenty of blockers that can eat up their board. Yeah, they're screwed. They can't attack. I see why they kept the anim on top though, for sure. They YOLO it, huh? It's because they're trying to get the 1-1 one -one counter on the anim so they can, you know, down the road get even more. <coughs> A bit of an investment for them. A little scry action too, sure. Right to the top again. All right, here's where things get crazy. <clears throat> uh, that's pretty bananas. That is bananas. And there's the scoop. Yeah, there wasn't really a whole lot they could do here. I mean, they could block everything, but then they basically have no board state for the follow-up turn. So good stuff. We didn't get 99% though. I thought we were going to. Uh, good stuff though, man. That's going to do it for me today, guys. We'll be back again here tomorrow with another deck list for you. By the way, tomorrow, insane. The deck list we have is so cool. It's one of uh, our original builds and it's so freaking cool. But thank you and huge shout out to the person we ran into on the ladder this week that was playing the delny in their life gain deck for the idea this was really cool delny i think takes this up quite a bit um i mean double triggers on anything is gonna you know obviously exponentially grow your board in some way shape or form so i loved it i thought it was such a cool idea and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it as well huge shout out to the mardu mob if you guys don't know the mardu mob is the membership program on this channel so anybody out there watching right now who's part of that membership program i appreciate you very much for all of your support it means a lot to me i appreciate you for supporting the channel thank you thank you thank you and i'll see you guys tomorrow till then peace out Like a hat trick, yeah. the name is Fizzy No Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah, MTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. With the upload, man, uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks, but the meta. This ain't cheap, yeah.